Hello and welcome Crafty Cuties. I am so excited that you are here today to make this mermaid tail loaded envelope. This is a really fun pen pal idea if you're looking for something new to send to your pen pal. And today's video is a collab with Abley25. I am so excited you guys. When I had thought up this idea, I put a photo on Instagram and someone had let me know that they saw Abley also do something like this. But he also did like one that's a unicorn, which was super cute. But since we both had kind of, you know, one of the, the same idea kind of, I talked to him and figured it would be fun to do a collab. So I'm going to show you how I make mine and then he can show you how he makes his. And I would love for you to go check his channel out after this. Uh, this tutorial is going to be pretty easy. I am sick, so bear with me there on the voice, guys, and let's hop right in. For the supplies, you're just going to need paper, glue, a pencil, and some scissors. And if you want to use the same method that I'm doing with adding these scales, then you will need a whole, uh, circle punch. I'm using a one and a half scalloped circle punch. And I'm also using scrap paper. I thought that this would be a really good opportunity to use my scrap paper so I have my entire bin over to the left. But of course, if you just want to keep this simple and use you know, a designer type paper, then go ahead and grab that. I thought this one was really pretty and it would make a gorgeous mermaid tail. I will probably end up making one using this, but I just wanted to show you how I really enjoy making these and then you will need anything that you want to decorate with. So anything like pearls, different trims, I'm probably going to use some stickles, maybe a bow. And you can decide, there are many ways that we can make this loaded envelope. I am going to use glue, but you can also use a stapler, you can stitch around the edges, and you don't have to have a sewing machine, you can use a thread and needle. And we're just gonna hop right in. So I went ahead and just drew this out. I just drew it up by hand. Um, it's not perfect, it took me a few times, but if you are not feeling super confident about your drawing skills, then go ahead and go online and Google mermaid tail clip art. I guarantee you will find a ton of different shapes and then you can figure out what shape you like and you can simply print that out if you want and use that as a stencil. So I am going to have three of these same sizes cut out. So I have two and I'm going to go ahead and make one more. The reason I'm doing three is because I want to add a pocket and I think this will just be the most simple way. And I'm at kind of a weird angle, so <laughs> don't worry if I mess up here, but that's okay because we are going to be covering this with the mermaid scales. And that's another reason why I just used white paper because we will be covering this entire thing up or at least most of it. So you are welcome to combine that however you want. If you wanted to maybe do a combination of you know, some really pretty paper with the scales, that would look cute too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out and I'll be right back. So now you can see we have three of the same shape. Now just a little disclaimer, this loaded envelope, it's not going to be able to hold a ton. I'm sure that you could mess around with it to make it a little bit bigger. You could also try using foam tape around the edges. Um, this is going to be probably really great for maybe a card with some stickers, maybe a little envelope with some ephemera or die cuts. Um, I don't think you want to put too much in this, but I'm okay with that and I really like having a cute little pin pal situation that I can fit just a bit a little bit in. So we are going to stack these two on top of each other and we will go ahead and glue around the edges. And then I just want to show you that for the pocket, you want to decide how far you want the pocket to come up. And so as you can see, we really didn't have to cut this entire thing out. I just like to do that to give me an idea. And I'm just going to figure that I probably want the pocket to go about here. And so I can just cut right across there. Just try to do that straight here. And you could use some designed scissors to get like a really cute shape around this or whatever you would like. And then that can be our pocket. And I will use foam tape around that to make it pop up a bit. So there are some pencil marks. I'm not gonna worry too much because again, we're gonna cover all this. So before we glue and put everything back together, we are going to start making the scales. And all you need to do for that is just punch out a ton of different circles. 
Okay, so now we have a bunch of little circles and we have our three pieces. I actually changed my mind and went ahead and cut the back piece out with the designed paper because I realized that I don't wanna put scales on the back. I think it would be really cute, but I'm not up for that job today. So let's go ahead and cover this piece with our scales and I'll show you how I do that. We do want to keep in mind where this pocket starts so that we don't do too much work. So I'm going to just mark a little spot here. Grab a pencil. And then we will just know that we don't need to go below this line right here. I am going to cover this piece as well. So I'm just going to start with this piece and I'm just using my liquid Tombow glue. And I am just going to kind of alternate the different designs that I have here. And I like to go ahead and just put glue on like half of the circle. I can always add more, but I don't like to have too much. And I just kind of start here. I always like, when I've been making these at least, I've been liking to have the circle go up above. And I really like how it looks to have the top be kind of scalloped, but you can also trim that as well. And then that way um, the scales, you know, go all the way up to the top because since they are circular, it's going to be hard to cover an entire space unless you're doing some overlapping. And you may notice that sometimes I might change whether I put one on top or on bottom. You should probably keep it just about the same, but I noticed that this circle had a weird little edge. So now for the remaining circles, I'm going to make sure to put these underneath the previous one. Now, my glue doesn't dry too quick, so that's not an issue. And if you wanted to go about it in an easier way, I would suggest just stacking them on top of each other. So hopefully I didn't make that part too confusing for you guys. So I'm just going to basically continue doing what you see here. I'm just going to make an entire row and then we will go down below and we can start stacking them that way. And even when I get to the edges, I'm not going to worry about making sure that my scale is, you know, all the way on. I'm going to let it hang off the edge a little bit because we will trim that off. And then again, the scale will be at least covering that entire area. So now for the remaining, I'm going to go ahead and stack these ones on top just to make it easier. And now I can put glue on the entire circle. So just continue this until you have your entire area covered. Okay, so here are all the scales, and I just love this. I love that you can choose any color combination and you can use up your scraps. I think it looks so cute. And then here is the pocket piece, and you can see what that's going to kind of look like. So now you need to decide how you want to attach your two pieces, the front and the back. And I am going to start out with just a little line of glue. I trust this glue and I would feel comfortable using only this glue, but I think I'm going to use staples too because I really want to stitch, but I am just way too sick right now to uh, be doing that. So I'm just going to do a little line, of course, none at the top. And I actually, whoops, also do the very bottom, like the complete tail or fin, I guess, because I definitely don't want like anything little falling down here. I just feel like it would be hard to get. So we'll go like that. And there we go. And if you were just using this for like a tag or a card, you know, you could figure out the size and you could glue it off wherever you thought would be the best um, for that. So now, here we go. We're going to go ahead and put our top on. Just do that carefully. Now I'm doing the pocket last because I want to, I'm thinking I want to staple this. Yeah, I think I will. And I don't want to staple the pocket because I'm going to use some foam tape for that so that there is a little bit more storage space. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So now we'll take the staple and I'm just gonna go around the edge and these are colored staples so that's another re reason why I think this will look really cute. And there's the back. I'm just going to actually do this from the back because it's easier for me to see. You do want to make sure to stay pretty close to the edge. Oh, 
Okay guys, so now I have the little pocket and I have foam tape on the back. So you can see I just put it around the edges and then the entire fin. Now we're going to carefully line this up. And keep in mind, you don't have to do the pocket. You could totally just do one piece and have this part open. It's up to you guys. And I'm actually really excited to see what you guys come up with. Okay. This is kind of hard at this angle. <laughs> uh. Okay. That was a little off because I'm at a weird angle, but that's okay. It's all right. There we go. So... Let's see here. I think we'll easily be able to fit in a little tag or something, perfect. So I think that'll be a great spot for a tag or if you size this out a little bigger than mine, you could definitely, well you actually almost could do a uh, journaling card as well. If I trim the edges just a bit, that would fit. So guys, that's honestly all there is to it. Like I said, I did this really simple. I didn't do a bunch of pockets or anything like that. Um, but I really love this and I like how simple it is. I like how cute and fun it is and I love that you, you can use your scraps for this. I also think it would be really cute to, you know, do with some designer paper and trim and pearls and things like that. So here is the completed mermaid tail loaded envelope. I'm not gonna dress mine up anymore right now just because I'm feeling really sick, guys. But I was trying to decide if this little bow would have been cute right there. I think it might. I don't know, tell me what you think down below. And also, just have fun filling your loaded envelope up just like you would any other loaded envelope or pen pal mail. You can do things like stickers, journaling cards, handmade things, like I have this little handmade planner clip. Um, you can do um, like pearls and trims and things like that. Just have fun with it. You can fit a lot, you can fit a lot more than this in here. And then I love that you can do a little tag in the front there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to go check out Abelie's tutorial. I'm excited to see it. I know that he is just awesome and he's going to show us a really awesome way to make his loaded mermaid tail. So head on over there, tell him I sent you. And if you had come from his channel, thank you so much. And I hope that you will end up subscribing and staying. I have lots of fun crafty videos to offer you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.